Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Erin Bakovic, and with me tonight is... Uh, Janelle Wolf. <laughs> so, uh, we are both science teachers at the high school, and we both do teach ninth grade science as well as some other courses. So tonight we don't have a whole lot of time, but we would like to go over some of the courses that are available to ninth graders, and then a very brief and probably a slightly overwhelming uh, chart about all the science courses available at the high school. So uh, for your ninth grade science chop uh, options, you have integrated science systems, which is taken either in the fall or spring semester, and then biology one, which is taken in 10th grade. You have nature of science, which is a fall class with biology one in the spring, and then biology one accelerated, which is a full year class. So which class suits your eighth grade student best? Um, you would have to look to the prerequisites and these small descriptions. So integrated science system does not have any prerequisites. It's tr truly called the ninth grade science class. It's a five day a week class, one semester. It provides the foundation for biology one. Biology one is a keystone class taken in 10th grade for five days a semester with the keystone exam given at the end of the course. The keystone exam, you can kind of think of it as the uh, equivalent of a PSSA exam. It is a Pennsylvania um, standardized test. The nature of science systems in biology one option, your prerequisites are 87% science eight, 85% in math eight, and an eighth grade science teacher recommendation. This is a full year sequence. The nature of science systems class is a two day week class in the fall semester. You must have a 75% in the class to move on to biology one in the spring semester. If your student does not achieve a 75% overall grade, the student will then be placed into integrated science. Students take biology one five days a week in the spring semester and biology one is that keystone class and you will take the keystone class in biology after completion of the biology one class. And our final option is the accelerated option. The prerequisites are 93% in science eight and 80% in algebra one and an eighth grade science recommendation. This is a full year class where you will take two days a week in one semester and five days a week in the other semester. Some students do take two days in the fall and two days in the spring. It is the same course, it's just depending on other classes and how the schedule fits together. This is indeed a Keystone exam course, and the biology uh, Keystone is given in May of that particular course. Um, the handout that we have that will be on our the website tomorrow, the eighth grade orientation website area, will detail and have uh, course descriptions as well as all of the syllabus syllabi for all of those classes. And last part of, of my talking point, and then we'll take any questions. Here are all the science pathways for the high school. Now this is truly overwhelming and I do agree, but these, it just shows you all the different courses that are available to all of your students as they move from ninth grade into the upper levels. Most students after ninth grade um, uh, either take biology in ninth grade or 10th grade move on to a chemistry course, a physics course. Some students will take um, astronomy, um, environmental science. Uh, there's also physics options. Uh, we have some advanced placement AP class options as well. And of course, anatomy and physiology, which is another biology elective. So there's a lot of different pathways and it does really expand as um, your student moves through the high school. So that is our presentation. Does anybody have any questions that you would like to ask us? Feel free, it's a nice small group in here, so no. I'm sure that's not gonna be the case throughout the night. Yes, Amanda, you have hand raised. Sorry, for 17 minutes and 17 seconds of trombone yet? I'm sorry. I didn't hear. Oh, I didn't hear. There's something about a trombone. I'm sorry, I didn't hear the whole thing. Oh. All right. Does Kathy have a question? Yep. 
I have Amanda has her hand raised. Okay. I, I have a question, but I'm not Amanda. Sorry. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so the um, the natural the second one that you talked about the natural sciences track and uh, and then the sec the back half of that was biology. Um, what is the first half of that covering? Is that like earth science or what is the natural science track? The nature of science systems. That class. Yep, that the, class. Yeah. Uh, Okay, both nature of science and integrated science are essentially um, biology and chemistry, a mix of both of those science. Um, we don't have um, an earth science class in ninth grade anymore. Um, we do have an FCAO um, earth science class and we have some environmental science options, uh, but the in, in integrated science and nature of science systems classes both are in biology and chemistry topics. They kind of lead into biology. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Kathy is blinking, but I can't get her to unmute. Oh, is there a way? I don't know why her, I can't get her thing to unmute. I don't know why. No, I can't either. Try well, I can't. All right. Any other questions? There's got to be more than that. Well, if there are no other questions, we can um, certainly let you um, leave a few minutes early. But we are available. Our emails are on that sheet. Both Mrs. Wolf and I teach integrated science, uh, biology, environmental science. So if you have any questions at all, we'll happily answer them. Or if not, we cannot answer them, we will get the answer for you. <laughs>